Alright you guys, I think in the previous episode of Online Divisions, I showed you some gameplay with Real Madrid. I talk about gameplay, I gave you tips with button inputs, etc, etc. If you watch uh, the previous two episodes using Real Madrid, uh, you will see the gameplay. In this episode, I'm going to get straight to the point and I'm going to show you how to set up Real Madrid's uh, best formation the tactic that I have used. First of all, you come to, you go to the edit mode. Um, you save everything in edit mode, choosing Real Madrid, obviously, you go to the game plan. Uh, now, remember, first thing, my player choices. I'm starting with Danilo, Vrain, Ronaldo, Benzema, just the classic setup. And I'm using Casemiro because Real Madrid really needs a midfielder who actually stays back. And the only player who can stay back is actually Casemiro because he does have defensive uh, pros and some decent ball winning. Remember, guys, it really isn't about using all high-rated players. It's about creating a balanced formation. Uh, if you want to survive against uh, Bayern Munich, I'm not saying if you want to beat Bayern Munich because when it comes to online divisions, it's simply get, use Bayern or get Bayern. It's, it's ridiculously OP. And the downside, Real Madrid that does not have any defensive, proper defensive midfielders and the goalkeepers really, really bad. But hey, you guys wanted the best formation tactic for Real Madrid. Uh, so far, I think I've uh, won about 7 games out of 11, I think. And the only time I lost um, was basically Ronaldo's condition was low. When you go online, actually, uh, Tony Cruz and Ronaldo's condition are low. Okay, now first thing you want to do, you go to do support setting and turn this on so you can switch between uh, the offensive tactic, defensive and custom. I'm going to show walk you through every single one of them. This video may be long, but trust me, you'll be not be disappointed. I try to make it as short as possible uh, because when I set up tactics, some people doesn't know, oh, what's the difference between long pass or short pass or wide or center, etc, etc. I have videos explaining all that. So I'm just going to choose whatever I've used without explaining it. If you want to know more about tactics, uh, check out the playlist called PES. Uh, tutorials or past 2016 tutorials it will explain every formation and tactic I'm just gonna choose uh, what I've been used okay now first of all the offensive one I normally start with the custom one if things going bad I choose defensive um, and if I'm like uh, you know if I'm winning by four goals difference then I switch to a defensive one but I would not recommend defensive because comebacks are pretty easy and I believe the best uh, defense is offense all right we have the player choices. First thing we're going to trust with our choosing our formation. Uh, now remember guys, the reason why I'm using particular formation, if you hit the help button right here, um, when you choose the formation, go to change formation and the help button right here. I want to choose this formation because choosing the base of your formation is really important. Uh, so in this case, I am actually going to be um, using 4-3-1-2 and customize it. It says a formation suited to attacking through the middle with a large concentration of players in the central midfield. You want to control the midfield and you want to attack down the middle. Uh, however, our second formation, we're going to set it to attack in white. If you can break an opponent down the middle, you may want to play white. Anyway, okay, so the first formation is going to be um, this one right here. And I'm going to show you guys how to customize it. Simply, what we're going to do here is that we're going to blink Benzema all the way to the top. Uh, simply works better this year when you put it all the way to the top. Uh, Ronaldo there. And mind you, Bale plays much better as a wing forward. Because the prolific winger card is only active as a wing forward. If you want to know more about a uh, player, pl player's playing style card like prolific winger, fox in a box, goal poacher, destroyer, anchorman. I actually have a video about that as well in the playlist called uh, My Club Tips. Um, all right, so in this particular formation, we're gonna actually choose this the setup like this As simple as that and sometimes I actually start with James Rodriguez It depends if I'm not playing against Bayern Munich. I put I put Tony Cruz here and uh, Basically put James Rodriguez on but I'm gonna show you the basic way that I start with and this is how I start um, This is the offensive one and this is basically as simple as that control the midfield uh, it, remember guys, this may not work for you, I mean don't try this formation after two games and you say it sucks or whatever. Give this formation, whatever I'm giving you here, give it 10 games. If you don't win at least 6 out of 10, then you know come back to me and talk to me, you know join my live stream, ask questions and remember add your own knowledge to it. Some people, you have to be smart enough to know what to change against what team or what to change against what type of player you are versus. Okay, so that's the first one. 
And um, the tactic for the first one, we're gonna go three here. We're gonna play counter attack, short pass, center, flexible, support range, we're gonna leave it to four. Numbers in attack is many. And our T and the defensive instruction is gonna be front line pressure, containment area center, aggressive. Defensive line, we're gonna leave it to four. If you are playing against the long ball sp spammer, change it to three. Otherwise, leave it to four is fine. Uh, compact is this is a tricky one if you're playing against someone who keeps spamming on the flanks change it to four If you're playing against someone who's spamming down the middle through bowling change it to eight But I normally use seven which is pretty balanced for me So take a note of these you know you can uh, play the video a little bit slower to take a note of these tactics and just copy them Basically you can simply pose it um, All right, so that's the first one uh, the second one is the defensive one for the defensive one I choose um, this formation right here so we can actually have two players back as you can see it right here and we're gonna put Tony Cruz what you need to do guys because we're switching formation don't highlight a player and change them like that you have to actually drag the player like this otherwise Tony Cruz and other formation will be switching with Modric and we don't want to do that now we're gonna leave it as it is like this and we simply change this because uh, this is the defensive one um, we're gonna play with an SS and a wing forward right here and what you wanna do in this in this case especially against Byron sometimes this works um, is that let me just change Modric as well there we go now as you can see how this is being aligned what we're doing here basically um, these triangles you know take advantage of these triangles Benzema, Bale, Modric uh, Benzema, Modric, Tony Cruz, Tony Cruz, Ronaldo and Benzema you know these triangles right here take advantage of pass and move etc etc and the tactic for the defensive one is going to be quick counter long ball because if you're going to play defensive we're going to be pressured a lot so what you want to do absorb pressure intercept and counter um, attacking area we're going to leave it too wide because remember guys attacking area wide look at that I'm on the ball in the midfield, Marcelo goes on the flank, give it to Ronaldo, back to Marcelo, Benzema, boom. Keep that in mind. If a tactic is attacking area wide, that's your only choice. Avoid going down the middle. Positioning, we're going to leave it to maintain formation because I want Ronaldo to stay where he is. I don't want him to switch. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, support range, we're going to leave it to 6 because we're playing attacking... Uh, um, we're playing attacking area wide, so I want my players to stay far away so I can do my long balls when it, in you know case of counters. Uh, numbers in attack, we're going to change it to medium because we're playing defensive. Um, and then the team instructions will, when uh, the defensive one, basically we're going to change front line pressure to all out defense. Sorry, we're going to change defensive style to all out defense, containment area, middle, uh, pressure and aggressive. You can try different things. For me, Frontline pressure and conservative seem to work because uh, if you want to pressure, you can actually pressure manually by uh, double tap and square. Like press it one and then hold it. That two players will pressure, or just simply select a defender back while you're controlling a defender. Uh, just hold square with it. The te the, your teammate who are not under your control will pressure the opponent. So I think I'm gonna go with frontline pressure and conservative because I've, I've tried both. And um, against Bayern Munich, I kind of struggled with all-out defense because every time I was losing the ball, the, all my defenders were coming back. So if you're playing against someone who's a skiller, who's a dribbler, you're going to get abused in your own half. So I would say frontline pressure and conservative. Defensive line, we're going to leave it to three because we're playing defensive. Compact is we're going to leave it to seven. So take a note of these. Now, this is the defensive one. We switch to this. If it's like, I don't know, maybe minute 80 and I'm winning by two, three goals different. Otherwise, don't switch to this one. Now, the third one is the one that I start with. Remember, the first one is very, very offensive. Um, sometimes I don't start with it because tactically it's very offensive. As you can see, we're playing frontline pressure and aggressive. Um, so I switch between the main one, which is the offensive and the custom one. Now the difference is the first one, uh, the offensive one, is attacking down the middle. If I can break an opponent down the middle, then I switch to the custom one. And the tactic for the custom one will be 
quick counter, short pass, attacking area is going to be wide, positioning is going to be flexible, uh, support range we're going to leave it to 5, uh, numbers in attack is going to be many, and then we're going to switch to this one right here. Um, we're going to play all out defense. This is only against a through ball spammer, okay? I mean, the reason why I'm telling you options so you know when to change what. If you're not, if you're playing against someone who's doing ping pongs a lot or who's dribbling, just go back to frontline pressure. Uh, containment area middle. If you again, guys, if you're playing against someone who keeps going to the flanks, spamming uh, the flanks, basically change your containment area to white as well. If if somebody's spamming down the middle, change it to center, to change it to middle. I've explained all these things in a previous video, but for some reason I'm still going through it. Compact is we're gonna leave it to eight this time. Uh, numbers and defense is gonna be many, so take a note of these. Now customizing this formation, we're gonna leave it untouched basically. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna change Casemiro into a defensive midfielder right here. We're gonna leave Ronaldo and Bale as they are, and Tony Cruz and Modric a little bit up. Because we're playing attacking area wide, remember your fullbacks plays a massive part. Um, and the way you play, you know, if you check out the two previous episodes, uh, you will see how I play with Real Madrid and, uh, you know, how to counter. There are many tips that I gave in the previous video, you know, regarding early crosses, one twos, pass and move. I have many other tutorials coming soon on regarding the gameplay and kind of advanced passing. Uh, so that's pretty much about it, guys. I mean, I really don't use Real Madrid when I play online. I like to play with Chelsea or PSG. I barely use Bayern Munich because I'm sick and tired playing against Bayern Munich. And sometimes I use international teams as well. Um, so I think we're going to continue with the online division series. So for the next episode of online division is going to be gameplay episode 1, 2, 3 going to be gameplay. Maybe the fourth episode is going to be the best formation and tactic for that team that I use. And the next three teams are up to vote uh, to use next. It's either going to be Man United, Chelsea or PSG. Those are the three teams. Um, Barcelona at the moment, you know, I don't use, but in fact, let's put, because we already done a Spanish league, I'd, I'd rather go other uh, teams, to be honest. Uh, don't ask for Bayern Munich. Everybody uses Bayern Munich. If I, you, if I give away best formation and tactic for Bayern Munich, probably everybody hate it as well, because simply everybody's sick and tired of Bayern. So I, I doubt I will do a best formation for Bayern. Plus, Bayern is OP anyway. So the next three teams are up to vote. Just comment down below and type in uh, Chelsea, Man United, or PSG. Once uh, the whole hype with the you know Euro 2016 kicks off, then we're gonna use national teams for online divisions. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like button, share, and subscribe, and remember to check out my other tutorials and join my live stream for live Q and A. I stream every Friday, Saturday, 11 p.m. on Twitch. Now, once you're done with everything, make sure to come to Data Management, save it right here, and then when you go online in an online match before you kick off, go to the game plan, and then again, make sure to load it when you go online. So, that's pretty much about it, guys. Remember to give this formation and tactic at least 10 matches. And remember, guys, we all play different. And don't forget your subs. For second half, I use Hesse, can play as a center forward because he's got the goal poacher card. If I'm losing, I put James Rodrigo zone and I simply change two center midfielders. If I'm losing, I put James Rodrigo zone and James Rodriguez on and Isco. They both change them to attack a midfielder. That way it was going to be super, super offensive. And I even changed Casemiro to center midfielder as well. So remember guys, you can be defensive and offensive by simply changing player rules or changing tactics and formation. And remember man marking as well. I have a tutorials about man marking as well. I literally have a, I literally have a tutorials about freaking everything. I think I've spoken enough guys. This meant to be a short video. Uh, Alright guys, that being said, until next time, ciao for now.